What up world? Today is Friday, August 24th. It's uh, 7 in the morning right now. Um, I haven't been to sleep. I've been up since about 9 o'clock yesterday morning, so almost a full 24 hours. <clears throat> um, so yeah, my daily cardio for today isn't a lot because I just, like I said, I haven't been asleep, but so I wanted to at least run, walk, and jog a little bit, but I, I pretty much did what I could. Um, I'm just exhausted, don't have a lot of energy. Um, haven't eaten the amount that I normally eat in a 24 hours, and this past 24 hours, uh, I didn't eat much, so. Um, yeah, I probably ran maybe a mile and a half, and then, um, of course, I'm still walking now, so I'll probably end up walking three miles and, and uh, running a mile and a half, so almost five miles total, not quite. Uh, but yeah, it's always best to at least do something. If you're, if it's one of those days that you're, you feel like you don't want to go to sleep, but you've been up and uh, active so long in the day, it's almost, I, I kind of compare it to being punch drunk. Like, um, a lot of boxers and fighters in general, whether it's uh, MMA or wrestling, just things of that, uh, that nature. Um, sometimes after you've taken so much physical damage, you're, you almost just get used to it. And then you're just, then your body's just going with the flow. You're just going with the motion. So that's kind of how I feel right now. Um, yeah, they call it punch drunk. But uh, yeah, just, <clears throat> just, give yourself a shot. Like I said, don't, don't stress yourself. Don't tell yourself if I don't do this much, then I should, I shouldn't do it at all. Cause that's, that's just a negative way of thinking. Oh, if I, if I can't walk four miles and run three miles, then I might as well not even do any cardio. Like, no, that's, that's not a positive way of thinking. You want to just, just consistently do it. Even if you can't do much, just do something. It, helps your body um, get used to doing whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's whether you're uh, having conflicting um, thoughts and <clears throat> conflicting thoughts towards running, going to the gym, um, starting to write your book, whatever it is, just even if you feel like you can't do a lot, just do something, do a little bit, do what you can. Don't stress yourself. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, I didn't even mention I'm in, uh, Atlanta, Georgia right now. Well, technically it's called, um, I think it's called Joe, Johannesboro or jo Jonasboro. It's like half an hour away from Atlanta, Johan jo Johannesburg, Johannesburg, something like that. Um, <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, so yeah, the reason that I'm here is because, <clears throat> uh, like I told you before, um, my friend and I were staying at his girlfriend's house. Well, they ended up getting into a little uh, altercation, and um, so my friend and I, we just, we moved, we he was like, oh, we got to go. He just, he said, let's, let's get out of here. So we packed up everything and left. Uh, I'm turning around because I'm not about to get on, oh, get on the road. I don't feel like uh, exiting this cul-de-sac. But um, so, yeah, he, he just felt like he had to cut ties with her. So we uh, got out of there and um, we're still looking for a place to um still looking for a place to move into just waiting on um his waiting on his credit score to get to a certain number 
Um, I think he's trying to get it to either 650 or 700, one or the other. So yeah, once we get that, um, then I'll move back. The reason that I'm actually in Georgia is because, um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the vlog, but my, my friend, he's, <clears throat> he works and I take care of his mom. <clears throat> so because I'm, I've already told him, I said, I'm, I just can't do these, these little jobs. I've, I've done them for so long that I'm over it. I'm just ready to <clears throat> start, not start, but continue making real money on through social media. So, um, and it just gives me freedom to do what I want. But, uh, anyway, um, I take care of his mom. She's, uh, 84. She has dementia and uh alzheimer's so she she can't live on her own so um yeah i'm always i make sure to uh, always be there for her, or there with her um she can be alone for maybe like an hour any more than that is kind of pushing it <clears throat> so yeah we came here because um my friend's sister she has, and she's married, she has a couple places, uh, her and her husband, they have, I think, three houses, so, um, one of the houses is here, uh, her husband is here right now with their daughter, um, but it was, it was a good way because, it was a good way for, um, it was a good place for his, for my friend's mom to go to obviously because she like with my friend he can he can go to a hotel or something like that he'll be fine he he works one day a month at a hotel so he gets like amazing perks so that he's not worried about that but as far as taking care of an 84 year old woman that makes things a little harder she has to have certain um she just has to have certain uh um, options, I guess, or certain <clears throat> things that she has to depend on. So, yeah, we're in Georgia. Um, right now she's back at the house here, um, in this cul-de-sac. She's at the house with her son-in-law and her granddaughter. Uh, but yeah, I had to, I had to clean up because they're, oh my goodness. Their house, I'd never been there, <clears throat> and their house is just a, it was a hot mess. Um, I, like, as soon as I walked in, it's a nice house, but it's just messy, and they got nice stuff in there as well, but just messy people. Some people are just like that, so, and I'm one of those people <clears throat> that when I see a mess, it just, it irks me, like, something in my brain just triggers, and I'm... I'll constantly just want to clean it like it'll it'll just bug me it'll really really bug me it makes me feel um just uneasy and just very very uh um uncomfortable <clears throat> so yeah I ended up just going through their whole kitchen like uh, opening every cabinet and throwing out anything old and there were I ended up filling up uh four I think four or five uh trash bags completely with just junk just food that had expired <sighs> so yeah I went through all the cabinets and the refrigerator and so yeah that was fun stuff um and right now <clears throat> I really don't have a cohesive thought in my brain because I'm just completely drained. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna go back to the house. Uh, gosh. Hey, I'm gonna go back to the house and unfortunately I'm gonna have to wash out the tub first probably very well because I'm sure it's a hot mess too I didn't really look at it but 
Yeah, I'm sure I'll have to clean it pretty good. And then take a shower and then pass out. And I'll probably end up waking up at... Uh, knowing me... <clears throat> I'd say noonish. Four or five hours of sleep. Noon. So yeah, I might wake up at one. We'll see. Uh, once again, I love you all for... <clears throat> Oh man, I need something to drink. Um, I love you all just for being here with me, watching my videos, watching me ramble <laughs> incoherently at times, and just bearing with me because my vlogs will start to get better. I, these aren't even technically vlogs. Well, I guess they're raw vlogs, so. But. Yeah, the videos will get better. But progress is key to anyone out there that's wanting to do something, but they feel like they're not that good at it. Just give it a shot. If it's something that you really want to do, then you'll you'll want to get better at it. So you'll constantly put the work in that you need to put in to improve. So yeah, just put in work. Everybody has to start at zero, no matter what. You all, we all start at zero with something, whether it's a sport, a hobby, um, dancing, um, anything in the arts, artistic, music, you name it. Everyone starts at zero. So give yourself a shot. <clears throat> Try it out and become great. Okay, I'm out of here because this phone is getting heavier by the second. Thank you all. You are freaking amazing. I love you all. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else, but I I don't know. My brain, oh man, my brain feels like scrambled eggs. I can't even talk right now. Okay, bye.